This is a presentation of OPC Systems OPC WPF Circular Data Control for WPF 4.0. The circular data control is part of a series of controls designed for dashboard applications. The circular data control can be used to create applications quickly and easily incorporate live data into your WPF dashboard applications. The control is intended for use with the .NET 4.0 framework. Circular data control allows for a single view of live data with an indication of the current value between its minimum and maximum range. There are multiple properties that can be controlled by live data from the OPC system service, such as opacity, start angle, end angle, fill, stroke color, flashing, and others. Let's build an application with the OPC WPF circular data control. First, let's start Microsoft Visual Studio and create a new project. We'll call this circular data. And from our main window, let's select the toolbox and drop in an OPC WPF circular data control. Let's set a few of the brushes to start with. Let's set our background brush to gray. Let's set the faceplate to black. And let's set the foreground to white. Now we've got a good looking control. Now let's set the content of OPC systems tag. And let's set that to ramp. Click on the ellipse to the right in our tag browser, select local and ramp and press OK. Now we have a circular data control that will be animated. Let's quickly run the application and see what we have. And here we can see that our data control is being updated. We can see the fill color here. Now let's close our application and take a look at some of the other properties of the OPC WPF circular data control. Under common, we have a scale that sets to minimum and maximum for the range. The current tag ramp.value goes from 0 to 100, so we set our scale from 0 to 100. Under appearance OPC systems, we can set the thickness of the arc. We can set the opacity tag, the start angle tag, and the visibility tag. Under brushes OPC systems, we can set a background flash and a background color. We can set the fill flashing tag and the fill tag. We have five options there for each of these. We have the foreground flash tag and the foreground color tag. We also have stroke flashing and fill and stroke color tags. Under common properties OPC systems, we can set the enable tag, tag tag, tooltip tag, and under content OPC systems, we already reviewed the content tag, but we can also set the format of that tag so that as it is displayed, we can add a suffix or a prefix to the value. So let's change the format for this float to 0, 0.0 and ramp. Under layout OPC systems, we can affect the height, the width, and under transform OPC systems, we can rotate, skew, scale, and translate. Under brushes, we already looked at the background brush. We also have the faceplate brush, the fill brush. This is the animated color, the foreground, which is the text on the front of the control, your value, the inner stroke and outer stroke. So if we set this outer stroke to red, you can see that our outline is now red. And then we have the inner stroke property. We can set that to red also. You can also use gradients. Under text, we can set the text size. Let's change that to 10. And we can also set the text font. We can make it bold or italic. Let's run our application one more time. And you can see now that we have our value is one decimal point with a suffix of ramp. For more information on OPC Systems products and features, please visit our website at www.opcsystems.com. And for more training videos, please select the training tab at the top of the page.